Welcome to Tech Time. Tesla's latest software update gave its Model S electric car the ability to drive itself with a new autopilot mode. Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us how it works, but first, let's talk about Tesla. We had a report earlier that Consumer Reports not recommending the S anymore. You are a Tesla owner, one of the few in Asheville. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this report? I, I do. Well, first of all, I have a Model S, and it's a spectacular car in terms of how it drives and handles is unreal. The advancements in technology that Elon Musk and Tesla has put together are unprecedented. Regarding the specific report, um, it's one section of the report where they got a ding. So this is rated the safest car in America. In its early testing, when it went through testing, it actually broke the crash equipment. It's rated the safest car in America. And on this test, the usability and performance are still ranked at 100. So it's, it's really, really high. Where they got a few complaints in was regarding some of the electronics for the windows and the doors and a little bit of a squeaking noise. And so that's what got addressed and mentioned and so dropped the rating from the highest in the reliability section down a little bit. Okay. So it's just in that one piece. So and you're like, still very happy with your Tesla. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. You know, it's This is crazy. This is totally crazy. So they just rolled out autopilot and it's really like a software update for your phone. So you're in your garage and you get a notice that says, hey, there's new software for your car. Kind of like you do your phone. You say, do you want to update now? You say update now and you have autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> and the car, Autopilot is actually a series of different features. And we're going to show a video actually in using Autopilot. So it includes auto steering, auto lane change, auto park. Um, it adjusts speed based on who's in front of you, what speed they're going. And so let's watch this. This is about a minute long. And I'm, I start off and I already have Autopilot on when I start this video. Okay, so this is me in my car. So I have adaptive cruise on and I just pull the lever and um, you can see to the left of the speedometer just the speed that I'm traveling, that, that shows that the adaptive cruise is on, which maintains the speed and adapts to the flow of traffic. On the right hand side of the speed is the steering wheel that shows that um, Ooh, that's the auto steering is on. I have a truck that's coming up on the left, and uh, it should sense that. So this is what our road looks like, and I'm going to do a lane change, and so I'm going to turn this on is my wild. signal. This is wild. I hit that. Now I don't have my hands on the wheel. It automatically <laughs> wow. It's changing its speed because of that truck. And I didn't do any of that. I don't have to ask you, Francie. Do you trust this? Do you feel safe letting this do this? I mean, you're you're following an 18 wheeler. Yeah, but yeah, I am. It's well, it's first of all, it's totally crazy. And the first time I did it, I was panicked. You know, and I've tested it at night and all kinds of things. Literally, my heart was beating. But I literally did not have my hands on the wheel. I press a button and it changes lanes. And then it changes speed because there's a car in front of me that's too close to my preferred driving distance. So it's really amazing. I do trust it. It's taken me a little while. I was gasping. It's everything you've ever <laughs> learned about driving totally taken away from you. Exactly. So, but I think we're, um, where they're headed with this really is for a self-driving car. And these are the first steps toward it. And it's really, you know, they've done incredible things with the Tesla. I get all kinds of questions about it. You know, this dash changes, or this control panel changes um, based on what's happening with your car. You know, you can tell here I have my, my door open. Uh, just a couple other things, like this is the control panel that shows you, you know, what's going on with your car, energy, navigation. It's all software driven. It's super high tech. There's no engine in the front. You've got all kinds of extra storage space. And the biggest thing, Zero emissions, which is really important. It, there's no fluids to change other than windshield wiper fluid. There's no oil. There's no belts. It's right. phenomenal. It's crazy. But, hey, satisfied customer right here. <laughs> to learn more about the apps that Francie showcases or on the Tesla, just go to WLOS.com, click on Tech Time. You can also sign up for her e-newsletter filled with tech tips and iPad wisdom. iPadWisdom.com is how you get to that. Ingrid, wild stuff over here.